So imagine you a black teenager with zappy powers and you in class making a cake or something and the principal call you into his office and your pops is in there. Apparently you've been accepted to this nerdy ass program but you still got to do your regular schoolwork and they thought you would be happy about that. So you get there and you looking for your class and you get bullied by dorks. Right in here. So you find your class and meet these two twins and this girl named Daisy and then find out that those dorks are your teachers. You go out superheroing and fight a gobot, but it gets away somehow. You go back to the school for dweebs and the teachers want you to make something to track electromagnetic energy. You make it and then come back to the school to talk to them and it turns out they trying to use that to track your superhero alter ego because they working for the dude that made the chemicals that gave you your powers in the first place. Edwin Alva. They find out you honor them and try and kill Daisy so you save her ecstatic and now you getting chased to techno music. Y'all not slick, but you lead the robot to Alva's crib and use him as a human shield and then Daisy shuts down the machine and you make it back to regular school and Daisy's there now. Now you got the head start on a new girl. Cha-ching. So imagine... You a teenager with zappy powers and Shadow Cornrows man and his crew out robbing people at the mall, but Miss Geraldine is not having it. Live woman can't go shopping without bumping into hoodlums every which way. So you pull up and pack them up, but two of them get away and one get arrested. Now you back at the crib with your white homie that never existed in the original comic and your sister don't have no filter. She like, why he always over here eating up all the food? And you like, word, why I ain't never been in your crib, bro? I never met your pops. So he reluctantly invited you over you get to the crib he got wild toys his mom's is cool but his pops come home and he kind of weird y'all eating weird ass dinner and you pretending it's good everybody quiet then you like yo y'all heard the new rap cd and the pops like we don't listen to rap in this house only good old neil young and you find that weird too so you go brush your teeth before bed and you overhear his pops being 1955 racist so you like hell nah i'm out my best friend's gone because of you and your stupid racism I hate you! Yeah, you go tell your pops about it. Don't ask me how that been your friend for this long and your pops don't know who his pops is. So Richie runs away and his pops go talk to your pops and now they go look for Richie together. It's like a buddy cop film, but with racism. You find your friend and you way too forgiven about his pops. Then Richie get kidnapped by Cornrow's man and you go save him ecstatic in front of your pops and his pops. Then he start being nice to you. Now he only say the N-word on the weekend.